Hey you witches, it's Taya. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about the new moon and what I do for my new moon ritual. Um, what do you do on the new moon? Share it down in the comments. I'd love to know what other people do. But what I do is, um, well, I look at the new moon and it's a time of new beginnings, right? It's setting that time period for the next round of the new moon, the waxing moon, the full moon, the waning moon, the dark moon, the new moon. So I'd like to set an intention or whatever that's going to sort of carry me through that next moon period. And what I have is it's a box and I call it my best life box. And inside it is a master sigil that says I live my best life. And then I add supporting sigils every new moon period. So where do I come up with my sigils? I basically work through my new moon workbooks. Oh, Luna's having opinions. Don't have opinions right now, sweetheart. Um, I work through my new moon workbooks from Spirit Daughter. And what they do is they ask you questions for the new moon that are specific to sort of the sun sign that it's in. So the new moon is in the same sign as the sun. So right now we're in Pisces. So it asks questions this month that kind of relate to Pisces and the new moon. Uh, so the first question is, how does it feel to just be? So if you were to say sit for like 10 minutes, no phone, not talking to anybody, just literally sitting quietly with yourself and your thoughts for like 10 minutes, how does that feel to you? What does that bring up for you? And it leads you through sort of a series of questions, uh, typically about four, that will um, lead you to create intentions and then affirmations. Now, rather than affirmations, what I do is I create a sigil. So my sigil for Pisces is trust intuition. And so once I've sort of come through, I've developed, I've actually created the sigil for it. Then I fire up my altar, so to speak. I fire it up. I have um, a special moon candle that I light that I use on the new and the full moons to kind of draw in the energies of the moon into my work. And then I have birch bark that I forge for in the summer. So I'll have like sections of birch bark. They're usually about this big. And I use gold, silver, and bronze markers to draw out my sigil on the birch bark. And then I add the birch bark, the birch bark with the sigil on it. So the sigil goes into my best life box. And then I charge it up. So I'll actually like build up energy in my body and transfer it to the box as well as I have a special candle that I burn on top of the box that will charge it and so I'll kind of start with like putting my energy into it while the candle's burning and kind of add some extra energy to it and when I feel that's enough then I leave it and I leave um it it's like a special tea light kind of candle I'll burn the entire tea light I'll let it sit and charge throughout while the candle burns down and that's what I do on my new moon is I add this new sigil to my um, best life box. Ideally what I'm doing is I'm creating a servitor who's going to sort of help me create, maintain my best life. Um, but that's a whole another discussion for a whole another day. But that's basically what I do with my new moon ritual is I add in those, I develop and add in a new sigil for the next sort of moon phase. So what do you do? Share it down in the comments. I'd love to know what everybody's up to today on the full moon in Pisces. All right. Thanks guys.